Okay, so I did as I said, and I went back to the previous area and got all of the things done. Um, hold on, where is it? Hm. Not in the sand, that wasn't it. Wow, it's taking quite a long time. Yeah, and I finished the egg poacher and the illumination uh, scavenger hunt. Let's just call it like that. Because. And it doesn't matter. And I got a skill point out of it. I'm just gonna use the set skill point in order to upgrade some out of my skills. Hmm. What's something in the hunter? Do I have the steady shot? Ammo capacity. Don't care that much for it. Bow experts tier three can have that yet. Heavy lifter. Maybe not. Just here. Survivalist and scavenging. Spotting hidden pockets and enemy forces. Then I'm taking quite a long time with this. Dodge kill. That I already have. That's tier three dodge kill mastery. Yeah, why not? Pain tolerance. Fine, I can go that. Take more damage before dying. And yeah, that's that. That should be actually the most important thing for me to get from the very beginning. Now that I'm here... What are we doing? Uh, lay to rest. Silencer. Two challenges. Two tombs. 15 GPS caches. Relics. 7. Documents. 5. And 6 camps. So it's another huge area for me to explore. I'll just get this over with. First things first. This wouldn't be a too major without exploration, right? Right? I really don't like when nothing's happening. Don't have a point of reference to talk about. What do we have here? Just scavenging along the shanty town. Can you always find the uh Word Shantytown funny. I think I actually heard it in some other fiction. Ooh, three other free rifle for parts found. That's that's nice. Should I actually go upgrade my rifle from that one Japanese one to the new one? Whatever that is gonna be. Hold on. Okay, that was the bird. Uh, do I see anything? No, nothing. Oops. Yeah. Nailed it. I'm definitely abusing that phrase. Okay. What do I have in here? Items, etc. You know what? Oh, what's this? Wrong. There we go. Oh, it's on fire. And... Ah, so that's late to rest. I gotta keep my eye on those kind of things. Effigies destroyed. Is that a dead body inside of that one? Why not? If I'm just here, I'm just gonna upgrade my rifle. Assault rifle. World War II submachine gun to assault rifle. Okay, I have no idea how that happened. Is that an upgrade more like exchange? Ooh. And what do we have here? Oh, it's an AK-47. That's weird. How can you make a Japanese rifle into an AK-47? Is beyond me, but. No, no. Complete. Tape double mag, cannot afford that. Barrel shroud, cannot afford that. Back. Gun. Double checking. 200 for the extended cartridge. No. 
shotgun. 400 for the full choke, barrel shred that's done, polish bolt. Eh. Can I do nothing? Just actually signify that they have another upgrade that they can use when they have enough salvage. If that's the case, let's just keep on. There are a lot of dead bodies in here. I mean, what is with uh, people in decorating their well strongholds and stuff like that with dead bodies? Definitely deters everybody from walking in there. So it's not gonna work very well if you're just hoping to have a little bit of trade or something. Just imagine Vlad the Impaler. If anybody would like to freaking trade with his castle and they will just see all those people impaled in front of the front yard. Sure, why not? Okay, there's nothing here. Ah! There's a thing to use my shotgun. This is not my shotgun. Got it. Ooh, relic. And inside the box there is a... In Edo, Japan, traditional men's garments had no pockets. Inro were miniature containers used to hold personal effects, like an ancient form of wallet. Ah, cool. Inro. Just do a little bit of a quick survey around this. It's nice, I'm not even certain what is the uh, engravings upon it. Like sun, fire, plants. Hard to say. It's a good enough invention for the Japanese, the Inro. Bang. No, nothing here. So it's a waste of my ammo. Go back here because I thought I saw another. Yeah, there it is. Bang. Can I blow? No. <coughs> Apologize. Usually I warn people when I'm gonna sneeze, but this time I thought, nah, it's gonna be a surprise. Okay. I think I know this place. Well, that, that's blood. Ooh, a book. Awesome. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Well, this is a right fucking mess. So much for a quiet retirement. If I find Roth somewhere on this goddamn island, I'm gonna punch him square in the mouth for bringing us here. And then, then the two of us will kill every last one of these crazed sons of bitches. It'll be just like the old days. Minus Dickie Croft. If he was alive, he'd want to study these bastards. Some kind of twisted religious cult. He'd find them fascinating. I hope his daughter knows better and finds a good place to hide. These nut jobs are dangerous. And I worry about those kids. Alex, Sam. This place will eat them alive. Okay, with all due respect to your expertise there, Grim, but I'm pretty much certain that we managed to cure ourselves. And uh, but yeah, Grim's right. My father would want to study this Solari, technically Lara's father. But he'd also do anything to save his friends. I, technically that is a game I would like to see. Uh the three musketeers, Rolf, Grim and uh, Lord Croft taking down the entire Solari encampment. There should be a spin-off story about Lara's father. Spin-off game. Because we haven't seen him in any single one of the games so far. We knew she was a do no, Because in the reboot there was a focus on uh, Lara Croft's mother, but we didn't have a the only focus on Lara Croft's father that I actually saw was in the movie. And J John Void was amazing. Oh, shotgun shells. Still walking around trying to find this. But yeah, could you make this happen? I mean, if somebody from Square Enix or I don't know, Ados is watching this, no, sorry, Crystal Dynamics, what am I talking about? Is uh, watching this, can you just make a Dicky Croft adventure game? Or some other type of game? What a white adventure game they actually want. Oh! A video game. A video game when the main character is Lara's father. Dick, that's Richard, right? Richard Croft. 
So it'd be fun. Sounds like a badass. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? I missed. Oh, well. Yes! Yes! Gotcha. I'm risking this. Nice. More of you? No? Woo! More of you. Oh, hi. I missed. Whatever. Shoot him in the leg. Oh, there's a lot of you there. Oh, nuts. Nuts and bolts. You're, you're cremating your friends. Well, whatever your religious beliefs. And thank you for staying in one place. No, I cannot aim for shit. Woo! Come on, come on, waste your ammo, waste your ammo. Thank you for coming close. Now I can decapitate you, more or less. Awesome. More weapon modifications. I'm stuck on the wall. Jump. There he is. Okay, this is where I was. Yeah, this is the place. Some markings over here. Nailed it. Skulls. Now here's a test. Will it, will it shatter? No. I hope it will shatter. This physics it does exist in this. I shot it and it went. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. so I basically went under this whole encampment. To get the chopper. Okay day. Now where are we going? I know that there's my progress. No, I failed miserably. Okay, this is where I came from previously. On Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, or Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Is this time I can climb quite easily? Ah, went in a circle because I was here before. To the right. Hmm. Okay, let's make it happen. What's in here? Let's find out. Salvage. Oh, two out of three shotgun parts found. Awesome. So now I'm gonna have a new shotgun as well. But I'm gonna get a new gun. Can I get a new gun? I'm gonna stick with the same gun for the entirety of the game. I mean, I know that gun is vintage and stuff like that, and it's very important to me because it's the uh, first weapon that I actually used to kill a person with. He deserved it, by the way. You remember the f uh, Russian bastard? Whatever his name was. Okay. Come on! Yeah! Ooh, there's a secret tomb nearby. Ah, uh, but before that... Hold on. Oh, I missed this? How did this happen? Wait, wait. Ah, there we go. So many hidden places to find.
You think it's Kublai Khan? It's nice. Oh wait, it's a fake. Made in China. <laughs> what well, I think that makes it it's not a fake. It was made in China. Do you think that Chinese are actually pressing the stamps that's made in China? Did you actually buy an ancient Ming dynasty with an imprint in there made in China? Well, that's even better. Genuinely made in China. What the? That's a thing. Did they kill him? Um, anyone else? Good thing I have to reload in the space. Got him. Who else is there? There's a lot of you. Go away. It's a weird perspective actually to have people to shoot people upside down. I mean they're actually good that they have freaking bows and arrows and the melee weapons because they have machine guns would be annoying. Ah, right. Nailed it. Makes me wonder, do I actually have to kill them all while hanging down? Upside down? Whatever. Okay, more items. Is there a dead body somewhere out here? No? No? But there is this. One out of three rifle parts found. That's interesting. I recently just upgraded my rifle. Well, couldn't that be a shotgun part? Would appreciate it. Okay. And yank. More salvage. More ammunition. Okay, she's burned. She's a woman. She was supposed to be Himiko. She's not Himiko. Let's just open this thing up. Cool. And yeah. It's actually saying how many people went in there and died. I'm gonna embrace it. What is. The, wow, that just happened. <laughs> ah, fantastic. Okay, now we're talking. This whole imprint of the hands reminded me of a, a show that we have here in Poland. It's called Four Panzer Soldiers and a Dog. I think the rough, rough translation. Uh, it uh, is about a crew of a tank during World War II. Uh, well, a Soviet tank with a Polish crew, and there are four of them and a dog, and they have all manner of adventures during World War II time, fighting alongside their Soviet allies against uh, the evil of Nazi Germany, etc. 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 Yeah, basically, I wonder why would we even show. Well, it's Poland, so you basically war under the Soviet uh, control for quite some time, up until. Year 89, I do believe. 1989. History of my country. Sorry, that's a thing. Okay. I didn't even have to catch myself with the uh, axe. So, and if you wonder why the dog, because uh, crew of a tank back then of the certain of the type had to be five five people. And, well, they had a dog instead of the f fifth person, so yeah. I'm not even certain you can then get this in the, uh, what is this? Ah. What do I just drop this? Cool. Okay, there's a bonfire. Let's use it. It better have been. So let's wreck it. Was it actually uh, Lara's uh, log entry? Makes no sense. So what do you have here? I don't want the extended mag. 
This one's done. Shotgun rifle. Let's go rifle. Barrel shroud. Good enough. And what else? Tape double mag. Because the rifle needs to have a lot of ammunition. Okay. Let me just... Can I catch this? Nope. Can I cut this? Doesn't work. Should have worked, but... Doesn't matter. Okay, let's just... So technically this is the uh, whole... Puzzle. Just need to weigh it down. And... Two. Uh-huh. And three. Okay, now we're talking. So three full tanks of water, I do believe, or gasoline or whatever that thing is, takes for it to go back down. Just throw it out. One. Two. Okay, this time we gotta hurry. Okay. The first concern for the Lar Lara waves uh, roughly the same as uh, three tanks of, uh, well, water. So is it? The four ship, wild, doesn't matter. Make a word in, in that you worship and defile on the same. Well, let's get this. Wow, that's heavy. And now it's not. Oh my. I'm taking this and nothing else. Tomb raided. Well of tears. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, I can upgrade my weapon. I think at this time. Oh, I have a skill point also. So let's go. How are we doing? I'm always forgetting what do I have here. Uh, scavenging and climber's agility and orienteering. Use your keen perception to find hidden rewards in the environment. Okay, that, that sounds interesting. And this is cartography. All tomb entrances and map locations will be revealed on your map. Huh. I'm gonna get that sooner or later. Use your keen perception to find hidden rewards in the environment. What else do have here? We're doing that well in here, in this department. Ammo capacity, accomplished killer. Not that much. Ah, buy two more upgrades to reach tier 3. Fine, let's go then. Orienteering. Mastered. Collectibles be visible on the map and glow through walls while survival instantly is active. That's amazing. Should have taken this a long time ago, but it isn't. Oh, yeah. My bad. Also wanted to upgrade some of my weapons because now I can. Gear. Not the bow, but what about the shotgun? What do we have here? Not this thing, but I think I can have this. The polished bolt. Faster cycle for uh, rate between shots, improved firing rate. Give me. And that's done. We're getting out of here. Oh yeah, this is the exit. I nearly missed the uh, crevice. Let's move! 
climb up. I really believe this is not the Lara that actually was a part of the military, as it was suggested in the Lara Croft uh, Tomb Raider movie. Is it really even implied somewhere in the previous games that she was a part, uh, well, an, an ex military? Hard to say. Okay, now my map is updated. So let's go find some other items around here. Because why the hell not? Easy does it. So watch me get out of there, get out of here and be attacked. Like, out of the blue. Okay. Fresh air, basically. Um, what the hell is that? It's part of the map that they haven't discovered yet, but first things first. There's a relic. Which I'm gonna find. Okay. Nailed it. There we go. <laughs> Still yellow when I was opening up. Shiny. A Ming Dynasty Jade figurine. But this one looks genuine. Well better be. Made in China. Ah, Jade. I love you so because you're green. Reloaded. Hold on. Let me just make a quick survey around here. Hmm. Oh, there's something up there. Salvage. What the? Okay. I unlocked it. Anything in here? Hold on. Found something. Burning. And defiled. Destroyed the effigy. 205. Oh, there's another one. Oh no! I have no idea how I survived this, but Lara apparently is part spider. Hold on. Okay, I'm nearing my destination point, and, uh, but I don't want to go there yet. Can I climb this? I cannot. Ah, didn't work. Me and my stupid... Ah, I'm stuck now, aren't I? No, no I'm not. I'm causing a lot of disturbance. Okay, that's weird. But yeah. Uh, another GPS. Hold on, let me just... This is just gonna be a lot of time wasted for me trying to find a lot of hidden things around this place. What? Again? I was worried for a second there. Ah, I haven't been up there, which I should be. Okay, there's an item. Come on. Another treasure. Another fake. Inro are usually lacquered wood. This one's made of brass. Probably dates from the 19th century. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, are those flowers? Flowers. Okay. Nice inro. Oh, I was supposed to examine it. Hold on. What am I missing? A book? Inside of this inro smells like tobacco. Perhaps this was used as an ancient cigarette case. Ah, good to know. 
Do the Japanese war even into smoking cigarettes? Did they have tobacco or is it just brought to them? What now? As I was saying, was it brought to them by uh, people from the West? Who knows? Ah, there we go. No, no, no. Don't fall down. And I did fall down. I'm so ashamed of myself at this point. There we go. It's actually good that Lara can climb over any surface, technically, if she can... If it, well, the word is, if it's low enough for Lara to grab, grab, then she will do it. A book. Matthias has us look for physically strong men for the Brotherhood, but none too smart. They must be willing to take orders and work. Any who question or resist are immediately killed. And the women? Matthias decides their fate. Most are sacrificed to the Dark Walkers. But some are chosen for the ritual. We put up with this insane ceremony. Some brothers are even starting to believe in it. Something clearly controls the storms around this cursed island. And it will never let us leave. Father Matthias claims to speak to it. Her. This sun queen spirit, or whatever it is, I don't know what to do. I'm just doing what I can do to survive. This is insane. My fight's convinced that this man and all the spirit. Well, <laughs> okay, Matthias is convinced this man that the spirit of the sun queen is somehow alive and keeping them from this island. Not from on this island. Well, confessions of a Solari. So, a technical name my son, if I was shipwrecked on this island, Matthias would have killed me. Because I'm strong and smart, so yeah, that's a thing. Okay, let's climb up. And now where am I? Ooh, a zipline. Again. Hold on. Is there any. Ah, there's a document. Well. Okay. Technically, you have to go there, but first things first, gotta get a little bit of a bearings around here. Uh, do I see any of those stupid things to burn somewhere around this place? Let me just double check, triple check. I think I see one. Yeah, I definitely see one. Is there another one? That I already did see before. Somewhere up here. Hmm. Annoying. Okay, let's go. Let's just get this over with. Nice. There it is. Fire. I love the animation of the fire engulfing this and destroyed now the document done I didn't well caught it I nearly died back there oh my god okay Ooh. Give me. There are over a hundred of us now. We've started work clearing out the old palace, and soon construction will begin on a city around the base of the mountain. The Japanese built a cargo holding system here years ago that we've got up and running again. Matthias claims we're building in honor of the Sun Queen, like some ancient Egyptian monument, but it's obvious what's going on here. Matthias is stalling for time. This massive project is just to keep them distracted, even with rituals and storms and rampant killing. It's only a matter of time before they turn against him. And when they do, I'll be ready to take control. So, the Solari are organized, they have rules and a purpose. Matthias has seen to that, but like most cults, they're collectively mad.
and just wrote out there every religion is a cult okay that's a thing oh I haven't been here already yet got it well technically I was but I wasn't down here okay let's burn it What's in it? Salvage. I was actually hoping for some kind of an item. Is there anything shining around here? Point of interest revealed. Yeah, that's the one. Hold on. Is it? Oh! Oh, okay. I didn't even notice that. Cool. It's good that actually the map does acknowledge the fact that it noticed this. And yeah. So let's keep the narrative moving forward. Because right now I went through the entirety of this part of the base, which means that I can go forward with the uh, story. Yeah, that was a nice landing. That was a nice jump though. Okay, can I jump through here? I should be able to. I cannot. Interesting. You can jump through here though. Which I will. Ah. Okay, position yourself in front of the wall. Jump and then jump again. Easy. And I miss this how? Well, this salvage actually food and something, so it gives me experience. Lara earns experience after eating. Okay, whatever. And yeah, this is the huge gate that Drof was talking about. So let's get to it.